Hey guys, it's Steve here, aka Shadowwake. Now we're just going to do a quick mod tutorial on how to install uh, Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures. Now it takes a bit of doing to get this installed, a um, few prerequisites you need, but it's well worth it. It's a fantastic mod and I highly recommend it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to open up Minecraft. The reason we're doing this is to make sure we've got all the files downloaded for the latest version, which is currently 1.6.4, and um, that's the version I'm using. If a new version comes out, 1.7 is due out. Um, hopefully I'll do an updated mod review if I get a chance, and if I do, I'll link to it from this video. You should be seeing an annotation about now. Uh, if not, I might have been too lazy, or 1.6.4 is still the latest version, in which case you can follow this through. So, first thing you're going to want to do is create a new profile. I'll just edit mine because this is already a new profile. And you're going to want to call it something obvious. I've just called mine Shadowwake 1.6.4. Makes sense. Now, by default, this is going to have selected Use Latest Version. We don't want to do that because when a new version does come out, it'll automatically update to it. And that's probably going to bugger up all the mods because none of them are going to work with a new version. So, make sure you select the version of Minecraft that you want to be running with the version of the mod, in this case 1.6.4. Click Save and click play. Now if you haven't clicked play before, a little green bar will go across, that's just downloading all the files for 1.6.4 which is exactly what we wanted to do. I've already run this up once so it's already loaded so I'll just quit out of it. Once we've done that, second thing we need to do is download Minecraft Forge. Now I've already got this open in Internet Explorer. Uh, using Internet Explorer quite simply because Firefox have got Adblock installed and the Adfly links don't work properly with it. Um, use whatever browser you feel like. Uh, I prefer Firefox but like I say I literally just use Internet Explorer for downloading Minecraft mods because of the problems I have with Adfly. So uh, once you're on the Minecraft For Forge page it's just files.minecraftforge.net link will be in the description. You want to select Minecraft version. Now here it'll say all and you'll have loads and loads of stuff to look through which we don't want. So if you just choose the version you're using, in this case 1.6.4, that'll filter that down to for us. Now the important things here, we've got latest and recommended at the top, they're the various different builds of Forge. Now recommended is the latest sort of stable version, it's less likely to crash and be buggy. Um, then you've got the latest version which will have a slightly few more features, it's a slightly newer version as you can see there, um, but it could be slightly buggy. So we're going to go with the recommended build, it's always the best one to go for. If you feel like living life on the wild side, feel free to download the latest version but I'd always recommend the recommended build. So out of the options you've got the side, you've got some different download versions you can download. You want to go for the installer. So if you click on that one, it'll take you to the Adfly page. Uh, just wait for it to load up. Ignore this crap in the middle. It's just trying to put junk on your computer. In the top right is where you want, where it says, please wait. It'll have skip ad when it's done. Click on that. Don't click any of the junk in the middle of the page. You'll end up with a ton of crap on your computer. So once that's done, click on skip ad. And then you're going to want to either save or open the file. Like I say, this may show up slightly different if you're using a different browser, um, but all you want to do is either save it somewhere you can remember to run it later or run it there and then. I'm going to save it onto the desktop so I can show you what we're doing. So that's downloading onto there. I'll just minimize that down again. And there we've got the Minecraft Forge installer. It's uh, just a Java executable. So once it's downloaded, nice and simple, no messing around, editing things in your Minecraft jar. Just double click on it, it'll load up a nice little installer default options are already selected, you're going to want to leave it on install client. At the bottom it's got your Minecraft path, which for 99% of people that's going to be right. If you've moved your Minecraft around, messed around, or you've got extra installs of it and things like that, you can change it manually with the dot dot dot, but for most people it's going to be exactly right. It's right for us, so click on OK. Now that's going to download a few bits and pieces, install them into your Minecraft. Um, might just take a second or two to get all that downloaded. Um, but I'll set everything up for you and there's no messing around. So we'll wait a minute for this to do. There we go. And then that's going to say it's grab some libraries, blah blah blah. Click on OK. That's Minecraft Forge installed. So bin that one off. That one's gone. So now when we launch a Minecraft Forge, uh, a Minecraft client, sorry, we're going to find that we've got a new profile in the bottom left hand corner where we've got the Shadow Wake 1.6.4. If I click that, we've now got one called Forge. Select that, it'll want you to log in um, or click on play if you've already logged in with that account and that'll load up the Minecraft Forge profile. So we're going to run that one up just so again it can make sure everything's loaded in the profile, make sure it's all working. Um, once it's loaded up we're going to make want to make sure the Forge has installed properly because if it hasn't we'll have loads of grief with Mo creatures. It won't work at all. So down this bottom left hand corner you can see now it's got um, 
Minecraft Code Pack, which is what MCP stands for, FML, Forge Mod Loader, Minecraft Forge, that's all installed. If you click on Mods, we can see it there, that's all there and working. So, fantastic. So then we're going to go want to go on to part two. We're going to want to go to the download page for Mo Creatures on the Minecraft forums. Again, I'll link to that in the description, um, but that's the best place to get it from. Don't get it from any other sites because you could have all sorts of junk bundled with it. Get the one on the minecraftforum.net. It'll take you to this page here. Like I say, link will be in the description. There's a few things we want to download from here. Um, so I'll scroll down to the section that says about download this mod. So we've got download here for the Minecraft 1.6.2. Now this does work absolutely fine with 1.6.4. Uh, I have already tested it, so that's the one we're going to use. Hopefully this mod will get updated soon and we'll get a later version, but it does tend to be one of those mods that doesn't get updated that often because it's a lot of work. So it'll probably wait till 1.7 comes out, but 1.6.2 will work with 1.6.4. Um, so that's the one we're going to download. Like I say, you've got some prerequisites here. We've already done the bottom one, which is Forge. And a few more, we're going to need GUI, API, and Custom Mob Spawner. So first thing we're going to want to do is download those two files. So I'm just going to open those up in separate tabs to download them. Um, so the GUI or GUI API, whichever you want to call it, if you download that, and again, I'm going to save it to the desktop. The custom mob spawner mod, this will take you to the Dr. Zark's page. If you click on the custom mob spawner link here, and again, download that one. Again, I'm going to save that onto my desktop. And then if we go back to the Mo Creatures tab, um, we're going to want to download the Mo Creatures as well. So we click on the download Mo Creatures. And again, save it now to the desktop. So I'll just bring this up so we know how long these have got left to download. Get rid of these ads that have popped up in the background. Except that's just downloading. So while that's downloading, we're going to want to open up our Minecraft folder. Now I'm sure most people by now know how to get to the .minecraft folder. There's various different ways. Um, I quite simply like to go to my user profile, app data, roaming, dot minecraft. Uh, if you don't know how to get that up, just google it. Various different ways of doing it. So once we've got that up, we're going to want to open the mods folder and we're going to want to drag and drop those three files that I've just downloaded into that folder there. Just get rid of that. So that's all the mods installed into minecraft. So next thing we're going to want to do, open up a minecraft, which should now have all these mods installed uh, and the prerequisites so it should just work so if we click on play so now as we can see a minecraft loaded up uh, if we click on mods we'll see there we've got the minecraft code pack forge mod loader blah 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 we've also got the dr zark's custom spawner and mo creatures now the gui api doesn't show up there because it's just an api but as we can see everything we've loaded in there is there which is always good so we'll go ahead and create a new world i'll just call it mo creatures just so I can show you a couple of these creatures and show you it's all working. Uh, I'm going to turn on allow cheats just so I can turn off flying because it'll make it a hell of a lot easier to find some of these things because you can guarantee we're probably going to start somewhere nowhere near any or probably an island in the middle of the sea. Not oh, surprisingly not we're in a forest so I'm just going to switch my game mode so we can fly around. I can already hear something barking. And then we've got something over there. Yep we've got a cat over there which obviously isn't in the normal Minecraft get some great sound effects as well which is another cool feature of this mod. You can see we've got a zebra there along with the horses and there's a hell of a lot more mobs which I'm sure you'll enjoy finding. Um, a village which I never normally spawn there. What are the chances? Uh, but like I say there's some great mobs in this. It brings so much more depth to Minecraft. Um, you can have so much more fun exploring, uh, finding all these creatures. Turkeys look amazing. Um, like I say, there's so many different creatures out there. Um, a lot more monsters and enemies as well, which makes exploring a lot more fun, especially when you're down in the caves and you accidentally stumble across a load of cave ogres which start smashing through the walls. Um, so yeah, it's, it brings whole new levels to the game. Um, they really should introduce more creatures to the, the basic game, if you ask me. Um, like I say, 
this should all be working for you now so have fun guys and don't forget to like comment and subscribe